doctors diagnosing patients by iPad, accountants crunching clients' numbers by smartphone. 4G is promising to change the way we work. As the big providers roll out their 4G networks for business, the digital superhighway is fast becoming a reality. Andrew Robertson reports. 4G is not revolution but evolution. It's very much an increase of the capacity of the network. So it's more a network issue rather than a hand handset or a consumer or a business issue. But business and consumers will reap the benefits from that extra capacity through faster internet speeds and much greater mobility, meaning more business applications can be done online and out of the office. So, for example, if you've got a sales force on the road, you know, with laptops and with, with tablets and things like that, and those people are accessing information from the office and the internet, etc., then you need sufficient capacity to make that efficient and pro productive for, for these people. 4G is adding that extra level of capacity to the mobile network that actually allows that sort of activities to happen. It's not just businesses who use data which will benefit. Internet analyst Fouad Fadagi says 4G will open up a wide range of applications. 4G will enable for faster communication, so more high resolution video, for example, is possible. Um, and, you know, things like remote diagnostics um, with doctors and things like that um, are, are possible over these wireless networks. And already the medical profession is well placed to use 4G to revolutionise the way it operates. James Rice is the Asia Pacific Healthcare Managing Director for global technology company CSC. I think faster is, is the key. I mean, some of this data can be quite big. So if they're looking at radiology images, for example, so getting a live stream of an X ray or a, a, a monitoring device from a ward like an ECG, uh, getting that in real time uh, has its issues with, with some technology connections. So 4G will smooth all of that out. CSC is developing mobile medical applications which will take advantage of 4G technology and has been testing them at Cabrini Hospital in Melbourne. We developed some software that runs on the iPad and we trialled it at Cabrini and in the first few days uh, a couple of identified users were accessing the software on, on iPads that were supplied by the hospital. By the end of that week some 70 clinicians had accessed the software using their own devices. Uh, so that brings them to uh, the realms are a whole new possibility, which is hospitals not having to fork out the capital expenditure because uh, doctors already have iPhones and iPads. 4G is a wireless network which raises the issue of the fibre-to-home national broadband network which is currently under construction. But telecommunications consultant Paul Buddha says 4G makes the need for the NBN greater than ever. The more data we are going to use over the mobile network, the shorter the distance has to be between us, the users, and the towers, and that requires more towers connected to fibre optic networks such as the NBN. Paul Buddha points out that British Telecom built nearly 8,000 mobile phone towers in London to have its 4G network operational for the Olympic Games.